you are going to learn how to install the best plugins for LSPD FR. Hello and welcome to our brand new video with me Stuart and in today's video we are going to learn about how to install the best plugins for LSPD FR. This is the second video in the beginners tutorial series on how to go from unmodded GTA file to a full modded LSPD FR GTA 5. If you are going to follow this tutorial you will need LSPD FR installed and script to V. First we are going to be downloading every plugin then installing them. By the way if you want a special plugin there's time steps in the video so you can skip them in the timeline. The first plugin we are going to be downloading is stop the pad. To get over to this site click the stop the pad link in the description and scroll down a, a little bit until you see this little download button. Then click on the download button thing the little arrow down here and then click on that. The first time it will bring you to an ad and the second time it will start downloading. Now you're going to want to go down to the description and find the link to the ultimate backup page. Scroll down a little bit until you see this download thing and click on this little arrow here first time it will bring you to an ad and the second time it will start downloading next up is compulite go down in the description and find the link uh, compulite link and click on that and then you'll come out to the site scroll down till you see this download compulite thing click on this little arrow thing click that first time it bring you to an ad a second time it will start downloading now we're gonna install almost like an add-on to compulite and go down in the description and find uh, the compulite add-on link scroll down until you see this download this file the blue one click that and then you'll see this xml.rar click on the download button uh, not on the old version on the new version up here click download then it will bring you to this page and it will start downloading it is now time for the player location display and uh, go on in the description and find the player location display uh, link and then you'll come over to this site scroll down a little bit and then, until you find this uh, blue download this file on the right side of the screen and click that then it will come up to download terms read through that if you agree click agree and download then we'll come over to this site and it will start download last but not least license plate randomizer go down in the description and find the license plate randomizer link then uh, go down a little bit until you see this blue download this file click that then the download terms will come up read through those then click agree and download if you agree then you will come over to this site and it will start downloading okay so now it's time to get all these files we just installed to your desktop go ahead and close down the browser and then you'll come to your desktop the thing you want to do now is open your downloads folder go into your downloads folder so it will come in here and the thing you want to do then is get out all of these the xml the rar the ultimate backups to stop the pad the, the pld the license plate the randomizer and the compute light holding your left mouse button drag those out to your desktop and then release and now you have all the zips files on your desktop if you didn't install all the plugins there will be timestamps in the description and in the timeline to whatever plugin you downloaded and uh, before we start installing make sure that you have winrar or 7-zip link will be in the description to winrar first we're going to be installing stop the pad so go ahead and find stop the pad and double click it then double click stop the pad again this little file then open up the gta 5 directory if you don't know how to open your gta 5 directory i will have a video link in the description down below and a card popping up on the screen right now okay, so the thing you want to do is holding control click on plugins and click on rage native ui dll with your left mouse button continue holding in control on one of those blue things that are highlighted hold in your left mouse button over them and then drag them out here to the blank space of your gta5 directory then release them there and if it asks you to replace the file in destination click replace file in destination then go ahead and close down stop the pad a uh, file uh, you can uh, go ahead and delete that from your desktop now now we're going to be installing ultimate backup so go ahead and double click ultimate backup then cl double click this little ultimate backup in here and then you come into almost like the same thing but uh, there's different files in the plugins 
stuff. It just looks like the same thing. And you may have guessed it, it is the exactly the same install process. So holding control, click on your left mouse button on the plugins and on the rage native UI.dll. On one of those blue highlighted things, hold in your left mouse button over them and then drag them out here to the blank space in your GTA 5 directory and release. And if it asks you to replace the file and destination, click replace file and destination. Then close down the ultimate backup. You can delete the ultimate backup from your desktop if you want. Okay, so now we are going to install Compulite. Uh, go ahead and double click the Compulite on your desktop. Then you'll come in here and then double click Compulite again. Then you'll come into the exactly the same layout as on the stop the pad and ultimate backup. So, as you probably guessed again, it's the exactly the same download uh, method. So holding control, left click on the plugin and left click on the rage navy UI. Continue holding in control, uh, holding your left mouse button on, on, on one of those that are blue, highlighted with blue, holding the left mouse button and drag and release it in the blank space of your GTA 5 directory. Close down Compulite. You can also delete Compulite from your desktop now. And as you may remember, we also installed a Compulite add-on and the add-on is this xml.rar go ahead and double click the xml.rar then go into the xml and then uh, it's not the same anymore but it's almost the same but without the rich native ui dll so this time hold in with your left mouse button over the plugin so it gets blue and then drag it out here to the blank space of gt5 directory and release and again if it asks you to replace the file in the destination click replace the file in destination and uh, uh, close down the WinRAR or 7-zip and then delete the XML from your desktop. Now it's time to install the player location display or the PLD. In your desktop it's called PLD so double click the PLD. Then you'll see media, installation files and documents. Click on installation files, Grand Theft Auto V. And then hold in your left mouse button in, down here in the white space so it, it becomes like this. Drag over PLD.ASINI so it becomes blue highlighted. Then hold in your left mouse button over those two, drag it out here to the D5 blank space and then release and then close down player location display and you can also delete it from your desktop. Last but not worst, the license plate randomizer. So go ahead and double click the license plate randomizer on your desktop. Then it will only be one file in here. So the thing you want to do with that file is uh, go into plugins in your GTA 5 directory. You're supposed to have it there if you have installed the uh, LSPDFR. So double click plugins and then you'll come in here holding the left mouse button over the license plate randomizer drag it out here into the blank space of uh, the dt5 directory plugins folder then release and then you have almost installing license plate randomizer so go ahead and close down your file explorer go ahead and go into your dta5 uh, directory then uh, right click on the rageplugnook.exe which you can find by scrolling down a little bit and click send to desktop if you already have it on your desktop you don't have to do that uh, then close down your file explorer. Double click the rageplugnook.exe. Hold in shift for about 5 seconds. And when this pops up, click in plugins. And then you'll see this new thing called license plate randomizer. Select load all plugins on startup or check in the box for license plate randomizer. And then click save and launch. But I just clicked save and launch so it would save. And then close down. Cancel it from starting so it will save. And now um, open your GT5 directory again. Now it's time to make these mods your own taste by customizing them. First thing we can customize is the stop the pad. So go into plugins with the LSPDFR. Find the stop and If you can't see INI, go up here and click on view and then click file name extensions. Then right click the stop the pad. Click open with notepad this notepad will pop up then and here you'll see all the keys you can change all of these i'm not gonna go through all of them because it will take a long time to go through every one of these and here i have a lot of these different things so you can do continue staying in here in plugins lspdfr and now we're gonna configure ultimate backup.ini and here you can go in here again it's the same layout almost it's like keys toggle menu key and look through those and configure those if you want close down that now i'm not gonna do it in this video it's because it's gonna take too long much time then open compulite.ini here's the keys i actually want to change the one where you open compulite when you're in the car and you hold in i don't want it to be e because if i want to press the 
horn it's gonna open uh, so I want it actually it to be Q instead which is the default one to open the police uh, menu and then we have it to open the tablet which, which if you're out of the car and you want to go into compulite you can take up a tablet and go into compulite I want that to be a5 instead and when you're done and uh, configuring compulite.ini close that down click save if you did any changes a common error when you have plugins is that um, things overlap to make that a uh, common error not up here. Things you want to do is go into LPDFR lower caps in your GTA 5 directory and click on keys.ini. The things you want to change in here are the stop the pad, set that to none if you installed the stop the pad, none exactly like I spelled it. The second thing you want to change is traffic stop interaction, change that to none if you installed stop the pad. The third thing you want to change to none is backup menu key. Let's change that to none if you installed ultimate backup and if you installed compulite set toggle please computer key to none the last thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you how to play with these plugins so go ahead and load into a game with j5 and rage plugin you can lspdfr and all your plugins okay so before we start i just wanna uh, say to you that keep in mind i'm recording this after i recorded uh, every video because i forgot to show you how to use the plugins and i think that's a pretty big step in installing plugins uh, because unless you won't know how to use them and then it will be chaos in the comments so when you load it into gta5 the first thing we're gonna go through how to use is the stop the pad so the first thing we can stop the pad is when you stop the pad on the street okay so find a pedestrian and stop him so to stop him double click e then it will come up that you can press e in the corner press e when you press e you will come into this menu and you can use the arrows to go around to the different things and stuff like that you can go down here arrest the pad uh, then you press enter if you want to do that and do you see a dismiss pad, the pad you can choose on foot but then you see there's like arrows on the side uh, click on the left arrow to go on to the left and then you dismiss pad to pair passenger sheet and then if you want to go back you press on the right arrow and if you want to go back and then you can press the right again and you will come to driver's seat and when you've chosen the one you want press enter to do this thing the next thing for stop the pad you have to be in a vehicle drive around a little bit until you find the car so when you're behind the car press shift and it will say you have signal uh, the suspect to pull over you don't need the stop the pad for this thing you only need the uh, lspdfr to press shift then it will pop up in the corner the suspect has come to a stop if you're ready you can approach them on foot to come continue then go to the driver side of the car then it will come up press e to open traffic stop menu so press e and then you'll get to, into almost the same menu but a little bit less options that's because you're sitting in a vehicle and you can't do everything when you're sitting in a vehicle if i want him to leave the vehicle i go down to order to leave vehicle now he left his vehicle the thing he has to do now is press uh, double click e again to get up the menu again the next thing with stop the pad is the context menu which you open by pressing G. If nothing opens when you press G, uh, go into the stop the pad I and I and look up the context menu and see what you have changed it to. Okay, so when you're in the context menu, you can use the arrows to go up and down like normal. And you can see that there is only slow down traffic and stop traffic and disable realistic weapon system. But when you go cl close to a vehicle, this is my own vehicle and you press G or whatever you have to open the context menu it will come up request tow service and if you go down one time it will say call vehicle insurance and if it's the vehicle that you don't own you'll get up all these different things you request vehicle check and obtain plate number so you will remember the plate number and if there's a dead body you get four more things you can search through the body you can drag the body and you can tend in your body which is trying to revive the body with CPR or you can request a corner unit so as you may have realized now it's uh, depending on what situation you are in when you press G uh, you can do things you can call animal control if there's an animal around uh, rescue a body and I think you get what I mean depending on what situation you are in you can press G and you will get into different uh, options in your menu that was all the controls for uh, stop the pad or not all of them but all of them that I think 
can be handy if you want to do more controls going to the stop the pedal i and i which i show you how to get to before now it's time for ultimate backup to open the ultimate backup menu you have to press b if you haven't changed that you can find what key it is in the ultimate backup that i and i when you're in b it will look like the same menu it's made by the same guy then you can go down and you can get a police supervisor you can choose what code it is how urgent it is and then code 3 it's the most urgent you change those by pressing the left uh, arrow and the right arrow when there's those arrows um so when you found the thing you want you press enter that was everything for ultimate backup if you want to know more controls you can go into the ultimate backup that i and i okay, so now it's time for the compilite so to open compilite you hold in e for default but i changed it to Q. To find what it is, you can go into compilite.ini and look what the open computer key is. For me it's Q, so hold in the button that it is for you. Then you'll come into this pet record, vehicle record, and court cases. And when you're in here, thing you wanna do is click enter on pet records. Then click enter on search pet and then you can go up and down here but if you want to go back you click backspace it's the back arrow which you delete things when you're writing something so here you can see that you can search up head by by their first name last name and their full name so their first name and their last name vehicle records where you can search the vehicle by this registration plate but if you don't want to type in the full name every time you want to search up someone's record you just do it like this let's say this is our suspect so you stop her using stop the pad or the normal uh, system and then ask for her identification when you got her identification you can hold in e for default or but for me it's q press enter on ped records and you'll see that there's a pedestrian down there it's amy she's the one we stopped over there uh, as you can see on the the uh, photo then you go in to create a citation which is a ticket if you do something small that it is not gonna give you prison press here if you did it install the add-on to compilite you won't have all these different things and you won't see how much it will cost for a suspect you can also go in to the create arrest report and you create arrest report that this is a crime that she will get arrested for and then when you found one let's say she did a first degree arson enter on that and it will check in the box press open action menu and then you can add a short note like um this is a test and then you can press enter then you go up to submit charges and then that would submit a charge now you can go over to court cases you can press on amy then you come in here see what offenses she has but if you want you can also click reveal outcomes which will so show you what happened in court so if you press enter now it'll, it'll say that she got fined ten dollars and she got five years in prison for this next compilite thing you want to pull over a vehicle and as you saw uh, when we were in the compilite menu you can see that there was a vehicle tab that's what we want to do now so when you put when you stop someone go into the stop menu then you come into this menu ask for at least the reg registration for the vehicle so when you ask for the registration you can go back to your car and then go into vehicle records and you'll see that we have a vehicle in here and you can see that the registration is valid you can see if it's stolen you can see if the insurance is valid and you can go into view owner record and you can see what license plate it has let's say you want to go through the records of a, of a vehicle but the owner's not around then you can press G. This only works if you have to stop the pad, by the way. G, and then you can go down to obtain plate number. And you, you will remember the pla uh, plate number. Then you can go into your car. Open uh, Compulite. Then go into vehicle records. And the vehicle will be there without having to ask for the registration. Okay, so that was all for the Compulite. N now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about play player location display. You see the thing down there? Uh, down there uh, to the right of the map. Th th that's the player location display. It shows you what direction you're going in. So east, north, west. And it says that we're on the Rob Street in uh, Puerto de del sol in metro los santos that's the pld okay so now we're gonna go through the license plate randomizer to make it randomized you don't have to do anything to change your license plate to whatever you want the only thing you have to do yourself that license plate randomizer doesn't do by itself is to change your own um, license plate if you want so to do that press f4 type in that num plate and then you can type in whatever you want and it'll change like root then and then it will say root and down there that's it for this video, hope everything worked out for you, if it did 
please like this video so you can spread to more people and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I publish a new video about LS Video tutorials and me playing LS before. And remember, this was the second video in uh, the beginner series tutorial. If I've published the third video in the beginner series tutorial, that will be about how to install LS for callouts. It will be up on the screen right now. Bye, and I'll see you guys in the next video in the series. Perfect. Perfect.